me about uh, resilience because you just cannot stop. You've got to keep going. There is no break. How do you do that? And what can we all learn from your experiences about that, that resilience? Well, I think um, at least for, for me, um, I don't know if you know this, I, I had cancer when I was 19. Uh, I, 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 uh, it, I thought I was gonna be a filmmaker only in life. And then when I got sick, uh, that really diverted me uh, to a whole nother world of medicine. And from that point on, I decided, well, if I had two lives, I'd be one as an artist and one as a physician. I only have one, I'll do them both. Um, look, I think resilience is very much fed by helping others, okay? The, the, the most energy I get right now is not from coffee, uh, not from Red Bulls, <laughs> uh, not from runs. Uh, it's, it's, it's really helping others, and uh, I, I believe in that, and it's worked for me uh, through residency, through a challenging film and television career, and uh, I, I bet you can, you know, relate to that. You know, it's funny. Uh, I've only ever uh, spoken to two doctors on this long, intimate way. There's you, and then there's another doctor called Dr. McQuaige, who is a very well-known guy from the Congo, who dedicated his life to women who are survivors of sexual violence. I've got a picture of him here. And a year and a half ago, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. And I asked him, uh, Dr. What makes you happy? And he said, my happiness is the happiness of others. Mm -hmm. And when I asked you about resilience, you said pretty much that resilience is driven by compassion, is fueled by empathy, if I, I, I understood you correctly. Yes. It's caring for others that creates this surge of unstoppable uh, energy and activity.